As industrial Glasgow boomed, its wealthier residents looked for a haven from the crowded streets and polluted air. Thompson, who suffered from asthma, longed for an escape too. Sea air and salvation came down the Clyde in newly fashionable villages like Cove and Kilcreggan. And Thompson, now an up-and-coming architect, was happy to design houses in whatever style his clients wanted. Including a clan chieftain's lair at Craig Rowney Castle. I'm meeting his current owner, Deli Onaya. Hi, Deli. David. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Lovely to meet Hi, you, Deli. Hi, man. Welcome. Please come in. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Right, David. Uh, this is the drawing room. Why, well, it's certainly not what I expected from a Thompson interior. Very different in style. So, Deli, what's the history of this extraordinary building? Well, yeah, the house was built for John McElroy, who was a well-known Glasgow iron and steel and railway merchant. It was obviously commissioned through um, Greek Thompson, McElroy and Thompson and, and their partners developed this whole area, um, Kilcreggan and Cove, which are like twin villages, uh, as a speculative venture building basically weekend and holiday homes for wealthy Glasgow merchants and wealthy Glasgow this families. This was built as a weekend home? Uh, Good Lord, <laughs> you've got to be joking. It's a castle. <laughs> Maybe if I can show you around a bit more, show yes, you some please. of the other rooms and yeah. let you see the different styles. This is the music room. The music room. Deli, there's a complete contrast to the drawing room you've just been in. Yeah. Chalk yeah. from cheese. Yep. So what is it like as a family home? It's just a fantastic place to live. It looks kind of imposing and magnificent, and it is, but there's a warmth and an intimacy about it that we've been able to share with other people since we've been here that, that we really, really appreciated. When it was built in 1854, Craig Rowney was the height of architectural fashion. Its romantic fantasy of turrets and battlements was repeated on an even grander scale at Pomoro and dozens of other Scots baronial piles up and down the land. Thompson loved a monumental sense of scale. He loved rooting buildings on the landscape. Craig Rowney, behind me, which seems to grow out of the rock itself as a prime example. 